Well, welcome back everyone. And we are just halfway through our day three and it's truly been an amazing experience to see all the networking and the comments that are coming in for all the different sessions that have taken place so far. But as I said, we are not done as yet. So we have now entered the innovation hub. And uh, just to give you a little brief that over the last couple of days, uh, the smart built environment forum had showcased about two different unique innovations that cater to the property management and the community management and the FM sectors. Now, of course, today our uh, spotlight is all about FM and we have with us Mr. Surajit Biswas, the head of project and building consultancy from Land Sterling, who will be presenting a very groundbreaking AI driven energy saving solution with a rather effortless and economical integration in commercial buildings. So over to you, Mr. Surajit. Hi, thank you. Uh, do I need to share the screen now? Share screen, we can. Okay, hi everyone. I, I believe you're able to see my screen. You're able to see my screen? Great. Right. So I'm here to talk about uh, the future. Obviously, we all know that the future is AI. And I'm here to present you a very uh, a very interesting solution uh, in how to save energy in commercial buildings. So, Should I say, share, share screen once again? Hmm? Can you see? Right, I think uh, uh, you've watched the video now and we'll have a chance to uh, watch it once again. So let's, let's start. So uh, I think it's uh, fair to say that, you know, as the world is, uh, still uh, battling this COVID-19 pandemic, it's, it's still uh, also faced with another very big challenge, which is energy. Energy challenge in terms of either uh, a crisis, like you know, there's not sufficient energy to meet the demands of the world, certainly in certain parts of the world, or uh, energy in terms of exploitation of the uh, environment. So I think before we dive down to the solution, I think it, it's, uh, it's important that we take a very quick, brief journey back into time, and then let's see how it all started. So back then, I think it was somewhere around uh, late 1880s that uh, the electricity was invented by Edison. But uh, really, uh, until 1925, even 50% of all US uh, uh, you know, economy was powered by uh, electricity. And the first skyscraper was built in 1885. This is, this is in Chicago, it's called the Home Insurance Building. And uh, do we know, like, you know how this building was even powered? I mean, this was the first skyscraper back down in 1885. And the question is, how was this, how was this building powered? In fact, it was never powered. 
because before it was before power actually became a household uh, uh, you know a service this building was already demolished then when power eventually came it came with a lot of events it came with something known as the black days so we had the black tuesdays the black wednesdays black fridays it was all caused by numerous amount of homes and households burning fossil fuel and that that caused that caused the environment to really go black this is today like this this view is i think uh, very 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 uh, obvious to all of us when we are when we are about to land in an airport this is something that we that we you know we are able to see a glimpse of it so that's how the world is it's 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 so energy hungry and and you can literally see it from this uh, beautiful picture of the world taken from the space and you can see how much of energy that the world uh, you know consumes but the sad part is most of this most of this uh, energy is still being driven out of fossil fuels the building sector has been has been actually a, a major uh, uh, utilization of this in energy in 1950 we had over 25% um, of the power consumption was driven by buildings uh, in 1970s it rose to 40% and in 2018 it was even more than 80% Uh, in uae however the most uh, the very stringent uh, building laws design laws uh, brought in by the authorities uh, meant that the amount of power that the uae built environment consumed uh, has been significantly less or otherwise it would have uh, really really skyrocketed so when buildings uh, rise taller what else rises that's that's a very relevant question so the simple answer is yes uh, when buildings rise taller we are able to accommodate more number of occupants occupying less foot footprint area but at the same time when building rises so does its energy requirement so on an average when buildings go higher so on an on every incremental rise of a building it means that the electricity rises by around 77% carbon emission rises by 67% uh they emit a total of one third of the total greenhouse gas emissions these are the silent and the invisible killers back then as i showed you in the previous slide we had those black friday so those those were visible uh, uh, you know bad effects but nowadays we have these greenhouses they are they're absolutely invisible you cannot see it you cannot smell it but they are they are causing you know extreme harm to the environment as we all know and and obviously you know fossil fuel also rising by around 20% with every incremental change in the building height now we deal we deal with a lot of uh, uh, you know studies involving the operational cost of commercial buildings of various asset classes uh, uh, in gcc and this is a data which we have uh, verified um, and this says that almost 50 to 60% of the building's operational cost is actually energy cost and just 40% comprises the rest of its operating cost and this is phenomenal 50 to 60% in terms of operational cost so let's look at let's look at you know tomorrow so we we have we have seen the issues of the past we have we have seen how our present is uh, being um, uh, you know uh, influenced by this rising cost of electricity a rising cost of chill water rising cost of uh, you know domestic water so let's see let's see what what the tomorrow is all about so certainly tomorrow will be will be about energy saving tomorrow will be about efficiency tomorrow will be about cost savings tomorrow will be about how how integrated and how connected we remain how we share our knowledge how we share data amongst ourselves so that we can drive decisions which are uh, beneficial for all of us
and this is this is you know perhaps how the ecosystem of tomorrow will look like so so we'll have smart homes smart uh, smart grids smart uh, education smart mobility smart transport smart retail everything everything uh, interconnected uh, making certain or to a large extent of decision making uh, by machines based on uh, data derived by these machines um, verified by uh, blockchain data management system and so on and so forth so this is i think it's fair to say that this is how our ecosystem will look like in the near future so what what really are the challenges that you know uh, commercial buildings face so 65% of commercial buildings energy consumption comes from hvac which is the heating ventilation and air conditioning systems 30% of the energy of that 65% is actually wasted what a shame and the current energy efficiency methods uh, we have various methods out there in the market available for us uh, but uh, sadly you know these are either time consuming or these are capex intensive means it requires it requires a significant amount of investment in order to realize its uh, energy savings you know uh, uh, potential and last but not the least is uh, a poor hvac operation leads to high levels of occupant complaints so these are primarily the four challenges which uh, a commercial building in the market faces faces today now land sterling uh, we have a division called building innovation solution it uh, looks into you know sourcing the best possible uh, uh, advanced ai driven technology driven solutions from around the globe with uh, bespoke applications to the built environment and we take a lot of pain and effort in selecting a product which we believe will best serve uh, the built environment of uh, the market that we that we you know operate in and it gives me great pleasure really to introduce this uh, first of its kind it's a first launch in uh, gcc a ground breaking ai driven energy saving solution uh, so let's let's see what it is it's a very short video let's uh, let's let's watch it Brainbox AI. So this is brought to you by Land Sterling Buildings Innovation Solutions Division. Now you must be wondering what is Brainbox AI. Now this is the most interesting part of this uh, discussion, ladies and gentlemen. So, in summary, uh, before going to the next detailed slides, Brainbox AI is a unique subscription-based, the first of its kind, subscription-based. energy saving service what are its unique usps impressive savings low to zero cost of investment effortless integration and no additional installation these are the four unique aspects of brainbox ai which makes it such an outstanding product out there in the market today uh impressive savings almost zero to low investments effortless integration i'll talk to you about it and no additional installations so let's let's learn about let's let's learn about uh, what else is uh, there in brainbox ai right so 
as of now, as we speak, uh, this technology is actually installed in over 100 buildings around the world. So we've got North America, Ireland, Thailand, Australia, uh, Brazil, uh, Uruguay. Uh, and the, the proof, proof of concept is already there. And it's amazing if you consider that this product has been launched just 16 months ago and the kind of acceptance this product has gained across the world is phenomenal. And, it, and it's so proud for us as Lance Sterling that you know, we, are, we were able to identify this solution and bring it to the market. And I'm pretty sure that this market will even more benefit uh, out of this. So we at Brainbox AI, we create value. And how do we do that? How do we, how do we impact the building's uh, business value chain? We do so by reducing energy costs to over 25%, uh, decreasing of the carbon footprint by 20 to 40%, improvement in occupant comfort by 60%. And the last one, I love the last one, ladies and gentlemen, it just takes two to three hours to install. What does that mean? It means that we can literally have this, we can literally have this solution tomorrow for anybody who's interested to onboard their building. Two to three hours is all that it takes to install this solution in your building. So what, what really is AI? AI is a set of very, very powerful algorithms, uh, software, analytics, sitting and residing in the cloud. Now this a Brainbox AI connects with your building via the BMS. So most of the building as we know today already have a BMS system and the Brainbox AI, which resides in the cloud is able to talk to the building and connect with the building via the BM building BMS. So we are able to connect to almost all the, all the major, major uh, specs of BMS, uh, either on a backnet or a uh, Modbus in a platform. Uh, we're able to uh, integrate with Honeywell, Snyder, Johnson Control, uh, Siemens, Delta, you name it. Like uh, it's, it's an open one and all forms of uh, BMS uh, specification is compatible to Brainbox AI. So let's look at how, how, how does this Brainbox AI really work? What does it really do? So as you can see, Brainbox AI has got a self-learning period. Once it is deployed in the building, deployed means once it is connected to your building via your BMS, it then undergoes a self-learning period. How long is the period you might be thinking? Generally, it's around, uh, around two to three months. It really depends on the scale of your asset. But in these two to three months, Brainbox AI is actually understanding the behavior and the profile of your building. It's understanding how your building behaves. It's understanding which floors, which rooms are getting occupied more. It's understanding which sides of your buildings are more influenced by shadow, which ones are more, more uh, uh, you know, uh, susceptible to um, uh, sun rays and heating elements from outside. So it understands all these behavioral and engineering behavioral patterns uh, of your building and it, con uh, and it collects hundreds and millions of you know, real-time data points uh, and it, and it uh, aims to predict by understanding how your, how your uh, building is behaving over a period of time, it aims to predict what's going to happen next. Once the self-learning period is over, then Brainbox AI deploys its very, very powerful algorithms. As of now, it's got around 28 very powerful algorithms. I must say that this is work in progress. There are more algorithms being written as we speak, but there are already 28 algorithms in the cloud ready to be deployed. And these algorithms directly write into the BMS, uh, um, commanding the BMS to act in advance Right as a preemptive, uh, as a preemptive uh, a mode of controlling the HVAC uh, system in your building, and by exploiting this particular aspect of the HVAC, it's able to derive 
the energy saving aspect, which I spoke to you about, it's around 25%. That's huge. 25% of uh, energy savings can be derived by letting the Brainbox AI autonomously uh, control your BMS system. So how do we really deploy it? What are its steps? There are actually four major steps. Like uh, step one is obviously installation and it takes just two to three hours literally to you know, uh, you connect. Some of it can be even more faster. And uh, it really depends on what form of uh, a BMS system you're having. So some of the forms of BMS system really enables us to connect super fast. Uh, then step number two is a learning period, six to eight weeks where the Brainbox AI is learning the behavioral and energy, uh, energy usage pattern of the building to identify where the, the energy savings can be derived. Step three, it is optimizing the flow. That means it is, it is continually learning, adapting, and deploying these uh, 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 you know, algorithmic uh, commands. And step four, obviously, is a continuous improvement process. So in repetition of what I just said, so Brainbox AI, it never sleeps. It's, it's, it's on 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And what it does is it's continuously learning, predicting, comparing, and acting. And it does that every five minutes. So every five minutes, the AI is actually patrolling every equipment in your building, every behavioral pattern in your building, every outputs and sensors uh, that is there uh, in your building is being patrolled by the AI every five minutes. And what do, we, what do we give the building owners and the clients? The building owners and the clients get a very powerful and transparent uh, dashboard. It gives them real-time real -time data of what's happening with their energy, where energy is being saved, how much comfort level is being, is being you know, uh, managed. This is all real-time data. So the dashboard, like you know, most, most of the portfolio owners here will have a, you know, a, a group of buildings, a portfolio of, of uh, buildings. They can actually see it on a GIS map. They can click anyone and they can get real-time data about what is being, what is being, um, what is the energy consumption pattern in the building, how the brain box is helping, how much has, you know, it has saved. All this information is available real-time. So this is this is another form of that uh, uh, dashboard. It says, I mean, it uh, depicts expected versus actuals in terms of energy savings. It also shows you the comfort level uh, as a as as another part of the dashboard. Also, the user can actually see which algorithm is currently deployed. So, for example. This particular dashboard shows that algorithm called COBOL is currently enabled, while this dashboard shows that ONIX is disabled. So all the information about what Brainbox is really doing, which algorithm is on, what energy patterns are being saved, how much is being saved, all this information is available real time uh, to the building owners. So now let's take a quick look at uh, the commercials. Like, you know, how does how does this work itself in in terms of the commercial part? So, Brainbox AI's energy saving solution has been designed to pay for itself, and this is a real case study of a building around 500,000 square feet. It's located in Montreal. Its annual energy spent was around 5.5 million AD. Brainbox by deploying Brainbox it saved around 1.4 million AED in annual savings. And uh, uh, our, uh, the brain box fees are actually a fraction of uh, what the building actually saves in terms of uh, energy costs. So the net savings over, over a 16 month period, engagement period was, was around 80, 1.1 million. And we ensure that our customers, our building owners, always have a uh, positive cash flow, which means that there's nothing really paid out of the building owner's pocket. How do we do that? So the first two months of deployment, 
when the Brainbox AI is actually profiling the building, uh, there is obviously no savings yet, and therefore there are no charges. Month three and month four, algorithms are deployed already. Energy savings are derived, cost savings are achieved, but as a proof of concept and as a test drive kind of a model, we do not charge anything. For month three and month four, Brainbox cost is zero, but you as the building owner, you're already saving starting from month three and month four onwards. Month five, month six, month seven, we have a defined fixed fee model, which uh, Brainbox AI charges. And that is actually a part of your annual, uh, of a part of your monthly savings. So there's nothing really you really pay out in advance. There's nothing really you pay out of your pocket. This is an extremely transparent, easy predictability kind of a commercial model, uh, which we believe is, uh, is most uh, suitable. We are really here to ensure that uh, as building operators, we are out there to save you money, to save you energy. And that's, that's, the, that's the core business model that we operate on. Uh, that's really it. So uh, I, I think in closing, I would say that this solution is so easy, like at, at the end of, uh, let's say you decide to, uh, okay, I, I, want to, I, I want to try this out. So we will onboard your building, uh, month one, month two, month three, month four, still there is no cost on you. You have not given or paid anything to Brainbox. On month four, if you so decide that no, I am, what for whatever reason, I do not want to continue, it's simple, plug and play, we just unplug, that's it. Your BMS is restored back. And, uh, and out we go. And this kind of uh, flexibility is there all throughout our engagement period because we are so confident of our uh, technology. We are so confident of, of the outcomes that you know, we have come up with this extremely, extremely uh, uh, transparent uh, mechanism of client en engagement. So that's it from my side. Just a quick reminder that I am assisted by Mr. Jalal Zaituni. He's the division manager for um, Building Innovation Solutions. I head the department and um, he's obviously you know, assisting me. He's, uh, both of us are here um, based out of uh, Dubai. So uh, a big thank you to all my audience out there. A big thank you to CM today for really you know, uh, having me as a host. And a big thank you to all the listeners out there. If you've got any questions, please do reach out to me. The contact information are given there. And uh, we'll be more than happy to listen to you and uh, would be delighted to offer you this uh, extremely innovative uh, and groundbreaking solution. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Is there a public version, right? No, it's not, right? What's the message? What what are the questions? We do need DDT in a system and stimulate the building manual mode and create logics at the building requirements to save energy. What's what's the question? How accurate and efficient efficiency, especially during the learning period? So I'm asking you to, which sector of energy is your main aim? So do you want to answer the question? Yeah, okay. So how do I answer it? Hi, 
Right, great. So uh, I'm seeing some very interesting questions. I'll try to take some of them. So uh, there is a question here which says, uh, how accurate and how efficient? Obviously the answer is very, very accurate and very, very efficient, more than what humans can really achieve because the AI is actually comparing vast amount of data and um, it is actually uh, making logical uh, sense out of that data, which is extremely difficult for humans to do it. Um, and and that's, that's how accurate and, and uh, efficient it, it will be. Uh, and you've asked that, especially during the learning period. Well, the learning period is for the system to really learn your building. And by learning your building, it creates a digital twin of your building in the clouds. That's very, very important. The system creates a digital twin of the building that it is connected to in the cloud. And that's how efficiently uh, it performs its, uh, its, its uh, job. Which sector of energy is your major aim? Which sector, if I understand your question, I think the answer is uh, it, it primarily and predominantly aims the HVAC, HVAC. And the reason being, uh, in my initial slides, I showed you that on an average, 50 to 60% of a building's operational cost is actually energy cost. Of that 50 to 60% of energy cost, over 60 to 70% again relates to primarily HVAC because HVAC is all about machines, operating machines, you know, pulleys, uh, motors, X, Y, Z, which, which is your greatest consumption of cost. I, yes, it, electricity cost is there, but you know, that does not form a major uh, portion of the uh, cost uh, composition. And therefore uh, this technology uh, and quite rightfully so targets the HVAC energy consumption in a building. Do we have any other questions? Do we have any other questions? Mm. We're waiting for some more time to see if there is any other questions from anyone. All right, I don't think we have uh, more questions, but as I said, uh, we are available. Please post your questions or email it to us. The contacts are there um, and we'll be happy to assist. Thank you everybody once again. Thank you.